everyone and welcome to my channel. This particular video is going to be a tarot reading or psychic reading on what you need to let go of. You know, it's a new year, we're starting fresh, and we all have baggage that we need to release. So I figured this would be a great video to release in the beginning of the year because... It's about time for us to get what we truly deserve in life and that is to be able to move on from the things that have been holding us back from the things that we want in life i hope you all like this reading and go ahead and choose which group you'd like to this is group one citrine this is group two tiger's eye this is group three red jasper this is group four light opal and this is group five rose quartz you just choose any group that stands out to you any crystal that speaks to you and i hope that this video helps you to get rid of whatever needs to be let go of left behind and released this year or any year to come and happy new year First, we're going to start with Citrine, group one. Make sure you guys can see. This is card number one, Temperance. This card tells me that you have doubts about yourself and maybe your life or even the people around you. And you often worry what you need to let go of, all of that. The doubts that you have, the worry that you have, let go of it, the fear that you have. Just start creating more harmony with yourself and the universe. You're a very creative person person a very talented person and stop doubting that you are because you are start being more patient and don't procrastinate anymore take care of your health continue to try to keep the peace but don't just be a peacemaker let people know when they are wrong but continue to try to keep it in a peaceful way in a positive way in a light way and release your fear because you don't need any fear. You should be fearless. You need greatness and you need to start manifesting that greatness that you have within you. And start exploring that greatness that you have within you. The next, uh, the next card is King of Swords. This tells me that you are wise. And I also sense doubt again. You're very wise, so stop doubting yourself. You're very smart. You've been through some things that taught you things. Don't doubt yourself anymore. Let that doubt go so that you can move forward. Start trusting yourself. Let go of that fear and those insecurities that you have. It's time to move forward. You're growing. This card also tells me that you're a great writer. You're you're a very talented writer and you should continue your writing. You are a fair individual and you are very responsible. You're very wise. Stop dismissing the truest parts of you. Stop dismissing your health and your self-love. Stop dismissing your feelings and let yourself feel. What you are feeling, let yourself feel it. Let yourself go through it and then allow yourself to heal. It's time to let yourself guide you. You don't need somebody to tell you what decision to make. You're amazing. I can feel that you're amazing and that you don't believe it and I need you to believe it. You need yourself to believe it. We all need you to believe in your greatness. The next card is Page of Cups. And it tells me that you can be pretty sensitive. Maybe you're an empath, maybe you feel other people's energies or when someone's sad, you feel that and you feel it to the core. Like if your friend just went through a heartbreak, like you go through that heartbreak with them. 
this card also tells me that you might not like criticism. Like you're, you like to please people and when something you're doing isn't good enough for someone, it, it deeply hurts. This card also tells me that you have a powerful and great imagination. Don't let anyone kill that imagination. You may hear, oh, you're, you're, you're pushing yourself too far into believing now, or you just come up with dreams that are never gonna come true, blah, 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 blah. Don't listen to that. You're amazing. Believe yourself. You are a creator. And stop trying to be a people pleaser. You need to let that go, release that, because you can never please everyone. And you need to remember that the only way to please is to please yourself and to not hurt others. Make those friends. And keep being a charming spirit. You're a very charming individual. Be yourself because you're great. Also sense that, um, again, you're a writer or that you're really good at writing. You need to start writing more. Start, start writing about your dreams or, or whatever you want to do. Just every day make sure you're writing because you're a really great writer. And like I said, keep track of your dreams because I can tell that you have great ideas and that you have very powerful, influential dreams. Two of Swords. This card tells me that you're a bit indecisive. And again, I feel a lot of self-doubt. Let it go. Let go of that indecision. Because your indecision is battling you because you don't know if you should make a decision based off of everyone else or yourself. Start making those decisions for yourself. Trust your intuition. Trust your guides. Trust that voice that you hear in your head that is a higher being of you. And trust that you will be led the right way. I wish you the best of luck. Finding more confidence and more trust in yourself. And make sure you're exploring more of you because through that, you'll find a great future ahead of you. And that is it for group one, Citrine. Now we're moving to group two, Tiger's Eye. So we're going to start with this card, the well. I sense self-doubt in you, a self-doubt in your creativity. Let that doubt go. You are nurturing and you are creative. You are absolutely amazing at creativity, but you don't take enough time to work on your inner self and the creativity that you want to work on for yourself. You're a great person, but there is a past that comes up and it haunts you some days and some nights. And maybe you start dozing off in the middle of the day or while somebody's talking to you and you start thinking about that pain. Let that pain go. And allow yourself to go through it. Like sometimes we, we go through that pain during the day, maybe we just randomly start thinking about something we went through years ago that we have yet to accept and let go of. And when we think of that randomly throughout the day, it means that we haven't dealt with it yet. So let yourself deal with it. Let yourself accept it. I went through that. That person hurt me. But the person could be different now. Or that person doesn't even care about what they did to you. But you're here suffering because you're thinking about it over and over again. You're, you're at a great audition or you're at a great opportunity and it just keeps cycling in your mind. Maybe they said you weren't good enough. Maybe they said you're never gonna make it. Maybe that person was very important to you and it meant something to you. Like when they said you're not gonna make it, you believed that. Let that crap go, let it go. You're great, you're creative, you're nurturing, you're a great person. Let that pain go. Go through it, but allow yourself to completely go through it. Don't keep dismissing it. Go through it, write about it, make your creativity about it, do something about it, and then let it go. I, I feel that you have anger and built up tension, and it's, it's hindering you from your, your gifts and from your blessings that are right in front of you. Let it go. Accept it. Let it go. 
I sense great ideas as well. Trust them more. Listen to yourself. No matter what anybody said, oh, you're not good enough. Who cares? Everybody tells us all that we're not good enough. And we are. They just heard the same thing and they feel like they need to tell you that as well. But that's not, that message, message is not for you to receive. You are good enough. You're great enough. You're amazing. You're exactly how you're supposed to be. And you're going to keep growing. Allow yourself to keep growing. Let those doubts go. Five of Wands. Once again, I feel a lot of tension. Let it go. There's a lot of anger. This anger is holding you back so, so far. It's holding you. It's literally restraining you from finding your success. And I don't think you're able to notice that your success is right in front of you. Your gifts are right in front of you. And I know that this pain hurts, this sadness hurts, this broken heart is eating at you. But it's okay. It's, it's going to be okay. And I know this because I've been through some terrible, traumatic things. And I had myself stripped away from many people, like a whole lot of people as a little girl. And... I was sad for over a decade. I was just sad. And some days it still kind of haunts me, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm dealing with it. And that sadness can eventually turn to anger. And it did. And it made my heart bitter. It made me struggle. And I struggled from depression and just complete sadness. And I didn't want to do anything. And I had a great thing going for me, but I just didn't appreciate. I didn't get to appreciate what was right in front of me because I was so focused on that pain. And it's even more sad because the people who hurt you normally don't think about it. They're not thinking about it as much as you do, or it may not hurt them as much as it hurt you. And they're moving on. They're getting their success. Let it go. It's not worth it. It just hinders you. And I see such a great, great successful future for you if you can just let it go. And if you need to, Make your creativity about it. Make what you do about it. Like, speak about it. Write about it. Draw about it. Tell your story. If that's what's going to help you get through it, tell your story. There are people who are going through some of the same things as you or something worse, and they need to hear that motivation. They need to know that, oh, I'm not the only one who went through this. They got through this. They're successful, and they went through this. I can get through this. Let, let your story be shared. Yeah, sorry, my arm itches. <laughs> All right, this is the page of wands. I see hopefulness. This is a great card. I'm happy about this. And I see trustworthiness and a new beginning. I see new inspirations. But I see this coming after or right around when you are starting to let it go. It's time to stop sampling stuff and start making those commitments, even those commitments to yourself about taking care of yourself and daily. Just for example, like I'm, I make sure I, I try to make sure that I meditate and that I keep track of my goals and that I keep track of what I want to do in life. I have this journal, I put my affirmations in it, this journal, <laughs> and I have another journal where I just talk about the pain that I'm going through, and I even put it in my music sometimes. Do that. Do something that is helping you heal. Make that commitment to yourself that you are going to heal. You're going to let this pain go, that you're going to go through it, accept it, and let it go. And then this card. The tower. You're probably feeling pretty lost and feeling like you're failing or falling. And maybe you're, you feel like you're losing a secure position or a sense of security. You may have just experienced some form of betrayal recently or even in the past that, you know, still haunts you. It's time 
for forgiveness for yourself, for others, for everybody. Forgive yourself for not taking great care of yourself. Forgive those people for betraying you. Forgive that person for stripping you away from yourself. Don't continuously be angry because that anger only turns into a grudge and it hinders you. It strips your light and you need your light. You need to spread light. You, you are a, a light being, but your light is being darkened by an outer force. Don't let that outer force in. Let it go. Release it. And I know you probably feel exposed, but... You have to remember that while you're being exposed, you're letting energies in. You're letting energies inside of you. Make sure those energies are positive. Make sure they're helping you. Make sure they're guiding you the right way. And I wish you the best of luck. I see a great future ahead of you. I need you to, well, we all need you to make sure that you are self-healing, taking care of yourself. You need that self-care. Now we're moving on to Red Jasper, group three. This card is the Seven of Swords. I sense a lot of secrets, maybe gossip, some sneakiness superficialness leave that behind be yourself stop judging people stop avoiding confrontation stop side step sidestepping issues stop diverting attention and trying to get away with stuff get rid of that hypocrisy get rid of the lies get rid of the deceit let that go you don't need it The magician this tells me that you are strong in manifesting make sure you're manifesting positivity it also tells me that you overestimate the limits to your power stop believing that a limit can hold you back no limits can no limit can hold you back from what you were meant to get in your life it's okay to take risks you don't always have to pick the safe option be more confident focused and inspired and start manifesting your desires i did not mean to rhyme on that that was weird <laughs> the sun hmm. sometimes you think everything is supposed to revolve around you but that's not the way the world works this card tells me that you're also a really great leader Make sure you're leading the right direction. You keep leading, you're great at it. King of Pentacles. I see that you have a, a problem with resisting change. And that you often have a lack of inspiration or energy maybe, just lethargy. Maybe a little bit too attached to possessions and your fear, and you have a fear of losing wealth or status. But once you let go of all that fear, you're on to better things. You will be attracting wealth, success, giving charitably, and getting a taste for the finer things in life. Release your fear. It is the root of your lack of inspiration, and it is why you have a problem with resisting or when you, <laughs> it is the problem why, I'm so sorry. It is why you have a problem with change. Can't speak. All right, we're gonna get it together. Maybe I'm gonna get it together. All right, moving on, good luck. This is Light Opal Group 4.
right. So the first one we have is Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands. You have to stop overworking yourself and taking on way too many responsibilities. You're taking on too much, it's carrying too much weight. You need to let it go. And you need to let go of allowing yourself or not allowing yourself to ask for help. It's okay to ask for help. Everyone needs a hand at some point and it's okay to need a hand. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to need help. And stop taking the blame, everybody's blame on yourself. It's not all your fault. I sense your weariness, you're, you're tired, you're exhausted. And what you probably need to work on is self healing. Maybe go to the spa or maybe make a spa in your house, light some candles, take a bath, just relax, free your mind. I can see there's a lot of just a lot going on in your head. It's a lot of stuff that's just building stress and weight on your shoulders. Let it go. Just take some time to yourself and for yourself. This card is the Two of Wands. I see that you're um, torn between risk and security. I think that's kind of a root of fear. Maybe you need to just let go of fear. It's okay to take risk. And I can also see that you want better and bigger things in life. But you can't keep doing the same thing that hasn't gotten you to where you want to be. You must execute it differently. Maybe if you want to be a singer and you've been releasing a song once a month and it's not really getting you anywhere, like it's getting you very slowly, start releasing three songs a month. Start releasing two songs a month. Start doing YouTube videos about how you create your songs. Get out there. And that's just an example. It's time for you to also decide where you want to go in life. This is the time. This is the time to think about your goals. The Empress. This is a card that tells me you're fertile. And this can mean that you're just birthing new ideas, that you have great new ideas, or you're coming up with new creations. This also tells me that you are creative and you're extremely generous, but make sure you're being generous for yourself too. There's a lot of caretaking and hospitality going on and you're just, you're just an amazing person. You're very helpful. A lot of people can count on you. Thank you for that. Thanks for being reliable. This is the Eight of Pentacles. And this card tells me that you are a hard worker. And that sometimes you disrupt your routine. Maybe you're working so hard on what everybody else asks you to do that you kind of forget about what you want yourself. Maybe that leaves you not knowing what you want for yourself. You're still taking, well, of course, you're taking on too many responsibilities. This tells me that too. And you're leaving little time for what you want in life, which, like I said, it's hindering you from knowing what you want in life because you're not focused on it. You're not making time for it. At the end of the day, you're probably extremely exhausted and just not making enough time for you. And you should be proud of your work. Keep being precise, but make sure you're doing these things for you too. Because at the end of the day, you need to make sure that you are teaching people the right things. There's people following behind you. There's people learning from you. And just make sure that you're teaching them that it's important to take care of yourself as well. And good luck. Now we're moving on to rose quartz all right so first card 
part we're going to do is Eight of Cups. This card tells me that you're, you're going to be leaving behind the things that hinder you. You are eager for change. And you're walking away from a lot of the things you felt you knew or you know in life. You may be leaving a relationship or an area, a home, something. And you're abandoning a dream maybe that you thought you had or someone pushed you towards. You're looking for some type of fulfill fulfillment and you're getting your true self together. You're trying to get your true goals together. You're trying to figure out more about you. And this is big. Some people never get to this level. Get rid of your emotional withdrawal. It only keeps you away from your responsibilities that you need to take charge of. I believe, the universe believes that you have got this. You got this. Enjoy taking a walk more. Get your thoughts together. Gather your goals on a vision board. Become more passionate. Don't be emotionally withdrawn. You, you've got this. You're closer than you think. Believe in yourself. This is the hangman, which tells me you may be suffering right now, maybe feeling lost and powerless to affect change. Release that, take your power back, take back your confidence and believe that you're free. You're no longer a victim. You're probably feeling lost because you're changing your, your path of life. You're changing what your idea of your path for your life is. And that's a good thing, change is good. Change is great. So release that, that, those insecurities and release believing that you're a victim or feeling like a victim or feeling like people target you. Release that because you're manifesting it. You're not a victim. You're your own savior. This is the judgment card, which tells me that you're going through a rebirth. And that you're probably going to be or you are deeply inspired. That you're about to be or you are summoned to a higher awareness. That you're releasing those things that are holding you back. And you're becoming a great motivator. You're awakening to your purpose. Stop waiting to be rescued. You're the only one who is going to rescue you. The death card is also a card of rebirth. These cards are both cards of rebirth. And this death card is a card that tells me that you're, you're about to let go. You're transitioning and you need to let go of that someone or something that's holding you back. Let go of those old habits, those bad habits, start creating closure, end your financial and emotional debts. It's time to forgive. It's time to start new. It's time for a new beginning. Just let that growth in. Let that, let that growth begin. And I'm so happy for you. Like this, this is going to be a great year for you. I can tell. And that's it for this section. I really, truly hope and wish the best for you all and i'm so happy for you all's growth that you're about to experience and i hope this year and the years to come are just years of growth and happiness and joy light love positivity i sense a lot of success coming to you all and success is not determined by what people think but what you think and what you feel in your heart like if you just want a family that's success to you. Like when you finally start a family, that's your success. It is okay not to want $5 million to be your success because $5 million doesn't really get you the happiness that you want. I mean, it's probably gonna be temporary, but I'm truly happy for you all's journey and start identifying what success means to you and what happiness means to you. Normally happiness is the root of success. 
and feel free to comment below any videos that you'd like to see on the Lena Mystic channel and wish you all the best of luck. Spreading light, love, and positivity. Ciao.